What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all. And as y'all see by this thumbnail, hold on, let me move a little bit so my hands don't be in the thumbnail too much. <laughs> we here with Cam Steady, Parish Song. Parish Song? I don't know why. Parish Song, official AMV. I don't know why with me when it comes to most P words or B words or whatever. It's hard for me because it's hard for me to even say it well and such because with my accent and all. But yeah, basically. But either way, we here with another Cam Steady song and it's like this, y'all. With Cam Steady, you always, with his music, he gives you something different. No matter if it's about the nerd course, no matter if it's like the nerd core niche or whatever, or it's most of the Mostly on his Instagram, I see is either him at a nerdcore event or so, or somewhere else. Like I see where he's performing, like at an underground rap lounge or something like that. Hey, shout out to him for trying to expand his brand and such. Cause look, a lot of y'all nerdcore artists need to do that. Hell, I mean, even with Rustage, Schwabity, and I think it was Connor Quest or so, something like that, bro. This is when you know how this is when you can tell who is the hardest worker and such Rustage tore his ACL, right? I saw on his Instagram. He was performing The man tore his ACL Like his leg and such for those who don't know his ACL is like right here, right? If I'm not mistaken, I could be totally wrong y'all let me know but either way the man tore his ACL but that didn't stop the nigga from performing. If y'all saw on his Instagram, even though he was sitting down on a chair, the fact that he was still able to put it in that will still say, have that mentality of, fuck all that. I don't give a damn if my leg is hurting. I'm gonna give a chair, I'm gonna rap, I'm gonna still perform. The fact that my man is committed like that, hey, that just goes to show you some of y'all rappers out there, y'all could never do something like that. But either way, Shout out to Rustage. That's what I'm saying. With 2022, he gonna 2023. Sorry, he gonna assert dominance. But either way, we better check this Cam Seti song out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. said this before right I've said it before but you've all but for many cam steady artists I mean cam steady fans and such right we've seen the different versions of him where he can go into game video game rap battles as he was used to call and the cam steady we see now and such the way with cam steady is and I was talking about his brand earlier he knows how to freaking come he knows how to get his longtime fans with him from like the video game rap battles ones like with Pokemon and such, especially with the ciphers and such. So the fact that one, he's working with this one so the fact that this two this right here is like a satisfaction to both both sides of Camp Studies fans. Where one, it's a Pokemon thing and like I said with the ciphers and such, you know he's known for that. And two that is more of his versions of how he does his songs. That is him and such. With the whole distortion voice and all. Hey, what, what can I say? With Cam, he knows how to work the fans. He knows how to satisfy both sides of his fans really well. Myself, I wanna die, so I die. And my head still is a clearance, so I write late at night. Cursing out the Holy Spirit, turn my bed into a coven. And my will into some lyrics, hold me silent. I'll miss something, telling me stop playing. Mm. 
damn. And with Camp Steady, don't think that this nigga is all about just screaming his heads off and such. Because even when he's done to do that, he gonna make some mess. He gonna have a message in there and such. Especially with this one. Hold Stop on. Playing, I'm, hearing that voice in I'm hearing their voices and rhythms talking about who he was saying about homies and miss them. Wait, go back to it. So I write late at night, cursing out the Holy Spirit Turn my bed into a coven, am I willing to some lyrics? Call me Zion and I'll miss him, they telling me stop playing big dumb I'm hearing their voices and rhythms on Homie's gone and I miss him They telling me stop playing victim I just hear their voices and rhythms mm. The First of all, the nice little flow right there, flow pattern and such mm. I'm hearing their voices and rhythms, I'm in the lab with some ghosts Our generations of forgiving this one right here got me. Our generation is unforgiving. Children living in the prison. Damn. Cause trust me, y'all. Some of y'all, it's like this. Most people would think when, like, you got people who are freaking, bro. I will never forget. You know what? No, actually, I'm gonna do it. Cause fuck it. I will never forget that I heard on the news or somewhere around Instagram or whatever, right? But no, it was on the news. That when there was this 18 year old boy, right? He got so mad and such. Like, dealing with bullying and such, right? That this, this dumb ass. Yes, I'm going to say it because I don't care. This nigga went to a freaking elementary school. And start shooting up this... And his reason is just because he got, and like I said, just because his reason was getting bullied in school. So what the fuck does little kids got to do with you getting bullied? Unless the little kids were bullying you, nigga, nigga, that don't make no sense whatsoever. So that bar right there about children living in the prison, nigga, at that point, even if he is 18, nigga, I don't care. The fact is, no one, look. I don't support bullying. I don't never want to bully people. At the end of the day, right? Because you never know who you're going to push over the edge. And that apparently, that... Apparently, when that nigga got pushed over the edge, what made you think, in your state of mind, saying, oh, well, I'm going to show these little kids what... Bu How does that even correlate? So, yeah. This generation... This generation, I'm... I don't know why I'm even... Look. I'm glad I was born 2000, but still, what the hell kind of generation? I am glad I am not like with this Gen Z generation or whatnot, because nigga, I am far beyond that type of level. And it's like this, I, I'm gonna re- I forgot that Frivolous Shower dropped an, a song in such way back Where it was like What, what was it called? Like freaking did we Poison something? I'ma react to it I know it's gonna be late in such But I hope y'all I needed. I wanted to say I needed to start showing more respect to the female artists and such So I'ma react to that when I can But it's like this I want more nerdcore artists to even if it's going to be in a niche, find a way with the niche it relates to everything in human life. Because trust me, this shit right here definitely speaks out. So we just scream as we ride. I think that fate is a myth. No one sees you through the mist because the game made me sick. Mm, I see that fame is a myth. Hold on. I think that fame is a myth. No one sees you through the No one sees you through the mist. Mm. Because the game made me sick The game made me sick uh. I'm a ball by the place that you're making Take it now, you stick it all in my brain Give me some relief from all of the race I'm a hunter, I'm a ball in the tr- I'm reacting, mom, close
close the door. Just close the door. You're not react with me. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Let me sick, uh. I'm a ball by the place that you're making, taking now you're sticking all in my brain. Give me some relief from all of the rage. I'm a hunter, I'm a ball in the trade. Said there's a fucking god in the lane. What you know about it, huh? Play the flow about it, huh? We blow up and kill ourselves, they make a show about it, huh? Then they get up on the internet and joke about it, huh? Decomposing in a ball, we just some ghosts without a fuck, uh. Steady and y'all already know who that voice was in the background, but yeah, <clears throat> like I said, with Cam, with his type of music, you never know what to expect. One minute you may think it's about certain anime characters or Pokemon characters or whatever, but next minute you know he dropping a song like this that is really deep thoughts right there, really make you think. Talking about watch. Our generation is unforgiving, children living in the prison, like goddamn. But yeah, hey man, like I said, I want more Nerdco artists to do certain. I'm not saying to. What I'm basically trying to say is evolve more. Try to do songs where, even if it's in the niche of it, do something that's creative. More like creative and such. But hey, either way, shout out to Cam Steady Man, shout out to. All the nerdcore artists out there, the nerdcore community and such, cause, hey, I'm glad that even if I'm, in a way, late to y'all and such, even if it's a, look, point is, with this whole nerdcore community, I'm glad that I'm welcome, from like, from like the artists like Slick, like Cam Steady, like Daddy Fat Snaps, Fable, Schwabity, from the biggest ones to the littlest ones, to the underrated ones, to all of them. Shout out to y'all, cause trust me, y'all are, y'all are, I don't care what people will judge me for listening to some of y'all music, I don't give a damn. Y'all music, to me, and to many others as well who's in the community who loves it, is way more fire than most mainstream songs, and I will stick by that. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below, and if you made it this far, comment down below. Should, well, <laughs> comment down below our generations unforgiven because trust me that's you need to think about that most of the time but yeah it's been your boy humble ziggy signing out stay positive and keep the vibes up let go <laughs>